What's up everybody, Savage here, Brian here, and today I'm going to be doing a review video on Kirby Star Allies. It's been a while since I've actually have played a Kirby game because the last time I did, I was playing Kirby's Return to Dreamland on the Wii. I completely skipped all the Kirby games on the 3DS, so I was definitely going to look forward to this new Kirby game. I've had a really fun time with this game. The game isn't too hard and it isn't too easy. Actually, never mind. Kirby Star Allies can actually get extremely easy on the first two worlds. But good thing the difficulty does slowly progress and get harder the farther you get in the game. And I also like that if you want real challenging Kirby Star Allies, you can unlock the ultimate choice main game, which allows you to go through a boss rush and you can make it extremely hard. But sadly, you don't unlock ultimate choice until you beat the game. But Kirby Star Allies is nothing but enjoyable, from getting overpowered copy abilities to little puzzles, collecting puzzle pieces, and finding all the secrets, which is really fun, by the way. There are so many copy abilities, varying from new copy abilities, like the artist and spider copy abilities, to returning copy abilities, like the yo-yo copy ability, and more. Then we have the friend abilities, which are awesome because they combine your copy abilities Granting them with even better stuff, like you can get water powers, fire powers, ice powers, and so much more. I definitely like it when you get the sizzle yo-yo, when you combine fire with the yo-yo. You can basically, like, assassinate people with it. You're, like, super OP. And because of that, that makes it my favorite friend ability. There are just so many friend and copy abilities in Kirby Star Allies, which is awesome because it provides variation. I also like the bosses in the game, but I gotta say Buff DD was my favorite boss fight because he seems like he's really easy to beat at first, but then he gets all buff all of a sudden and you need to change up your strategy because you can't just run towards him and fight him or else you probably would die. That boss fight was just really fun. I really liked it because of the secrets and split path that were in the level. For example, there could be one easy route and one hard route. If you take the hard route, you'll find collectibles, which will later on in the game unlock secret areas, which is cool. Then, if you don't want to turn, you could just take the easy route, which then sometimes branches off to even more path with more secrets to find, which is awesome. Then, there are also puzzle sections where you need to use and combine certain copy abilities, which is fun. Or, there are sections where your team is split into two. And you need to work together to break each other out so you can continue level. There's even this one minigame after each level where you are on a spring and you need to press A when it's at its lowest point. Then when you press A, you get launched really high. The higher you get launched, the more stars you will obtain. I also like the fact that you can unlock Dream Friends, which allows you to play as Kirby characters from past games. You can unlock some of them in the game. They are even going to eventually add more dream friends, which is awesome. My favorite dream friend has been King DDD so far. Then in Kirby Star Allies in the main menu, you can also play these cool mini games, and you can unlock more mini games as you progress through the game, which is pretty cool because there are a ton of things packed in Kirby Star Allies that makes this game awesome. But the game isn't without flaws. One of the things that I kind of didn't like are how easy the levels are earlier in the game. I found it a little bit annoying, but that could just be because I'm used to playing hard games and stuff. So that's basically my only problem with the game. So my review score of this game is 9 out of 10. The game is fun and it's a wonderful game to play. You should definitely get this game if you have a Nintendo Switch. Even if you think that's a little bit too much for a Kirby game since they're usually around like $30. But this game is filled to a brim with content, and it's been a while since I played a Kirby game, so it's been really awesome playing this game for new timers of Kirby or people who've played Kirby games before. So that's my review video for Kirby Star Allies. Please like and subscribe for more content, and without the wait, Savage Hero Brian out.